What's up guys and welcome back to a new video where we'll be diving into creating our custom Nova menu. Quick pause, do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. Now as you can see, Nova ships with a default sidebar, right here, where we could choose between our dashboard and our resources. You might have noticed that it also adds the resource right inside of the sidebar as well, where it will bring you to your resource overview. Now a pretty cool feature that Nova offers is that you could completely customize the menu based on your own preferences. Now changes like these needs to be made inside the Nova service provider. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm and let's search for our Nova service provider where we could use the main menu on our Nova class. But before we do that inside the boot method, I prefer to define a separate method where we define our custom Nova menu, which will then be called inside the boot method. So let's scroll to the bottom and right under our get footer content method, we're gonna define a new one called private function get custom menu. Where we need to make a call to the Nova class, and let me actually scroll down, colon colon, which gives us access to the main menu method. Now the main menu method accepts a callback function. So let's add it, let's say function, and it accepts a parameter, which is the request object. And I think I forgot to pull it in. All right, it is the illuminate HTTP class right here. Now inside our main menu, we're simply gonna return back one array. Now the real magic needs to happen inside this array, but we're basically going to define how our menu should look. In most cases, you will be starting off with a menu section. So let's add it right here, which is the parent button you will see on our resource menu right now. If we take a look at our menu, we got our dashboard right here, which is our menu section. So let's redefine our dashboard menu class. This can be done by making a call to the dashboard method, where we need to pass in the dashboard class, which will be main colon colon class. Now let's actually test it out. This can be done by scrolling up back to our boot method, where we need to make a call to our get custom menu. If we then navigate back to Google Chrome, refresh it, you'll do indeed see that we have our dashboard button, but the others have disappeared. Now it also allows you to overwrite the default icon that has been added right here. Nova uses the hero icon set that has been created by Steve Scroger, which I will link in the description down below. Now with the usage of icons, it basically allows you to, let me show that to you, chain a new method to it named icon, where you could simply pass in the icon class name as a string. So for our dashboard, let's say that we want to add the chart dash bar icon. If we navigate back to the browser, refresh it, and right here, you will see that our dashboard is visible with a new added icon. Now this was simple. So let's create a new section right below of it with items inside of it. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm and let's define a new menu section right below the current one, where we're gonna call the make method instead of the dashboard method. Now the first parameter will be a string of the name. So let's say products, while the second one will be an array because we're gonna add multiple items right here. So every menu section could have menu items. So let's call the make method again. Then we need to add pretty much the same pattern. So we need to add the name of our menu item, which will be all products. While we need to add a second one as well, which will be the path to forward slash resources, forward slash products. Now let's duplicate the line that we have right here because we're also gonna add a menu item for create a single product where the path will be forward slash resources, forward slash products, forward slash new. Now let's also add an icon to our menu section with the name of shopping dash bag. So a dropdown menu will be created for us right now but there is an option where you could chain the collapsible method to it, meaning that our menu will be open by default. So let's test it out inside Google Chrome. Let's refresh it and right here, you'll see our products, which is collapsible, but it's open by default where we can choose between all products and create a single product. 
Now this also means that whenever you make a menu section with menu items inside of it, the menu section will not redirect you to another page, which is understandable because you can't select a menu which can be opened and closed and also be redirected to another page. Now let's create a new menu section. But we're not going to call the make method or dashboard method right here, but we're going to simply call the resource method, which accepts a resource rather than a string, what we have done before. So let's say that we want to create a new menu section for our brand class. And we want to add an icon of tag. Now let's navigate back to Google Chrome refresh it and right here you'll see that we created a new menu section where we could simply navigate to our brands now another great feature that nova supports is authorizing specific menu items with that you could easily disable certain menu items when a user is not an admin so let's navigate back to php storm and let's actually duplicate our menu section of products right below our brand menu section the name will be users the first menu item will be all users to forward slash resources forward slash users. Then we can create a new user as well to a forward slash resource forward slash users forward slash new. So what we could do right now is basically go right after our menu item, which we only want to show to users that are admins and chain the can see method to it. And let me actually outline it on the line below. Right here, we could pass in a callback function so let's do that of the nova request inside our can see method we could simply return the request user and it's only visible whenever a user is an admin then we need to change the icon to let's say users and if we navigate back to google chrome refresh it you'll see a new section right here of our users where we could select all users or create a new user but if we navigate to our users overview and select our code with our user, which we are using right now, edit it. Now let's say that we want to uncheck our role. If we update the user, you'll see that the create users in the left panel has been removed because the user that is currently logged in, so code with Dari, is not an admin. So right now I will cut out the part where I change the user role to admin again inside the database. Nova also allows you to add menu items which are coming from an external link. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm and right under our users menu section, let's define a new menu item with an external, where we're going to make a call to an external link method. The first parameter will be the name, so let's say visit site, while the second parameter will be the path of HTTPS forward slash forward slash nova.laravel.com forward slash docs if we navigate back to google chrome refresh it you'll see that we added a new menu item right here called visit site if we click on it you'll see that we have been redirected to nova's official documentation but it hasn't opened another page so what we could do is navigate back and chain the open in new tab method right to it which basically speaks for itself if we go back refresh the page Click on visit site again, you'll see that we have opened a new tab of our Nova documentation. Now it also has a pretty cool feature which allows you to add menu item badges, which is pretty much a visual badge that you can add right next to your menu item. So let's navigate back to PHP Storm. And let's say that we want to add a badge right next to our menu section of dashboard, which is the first one right here. This can be done by changing the width batch method to it where we simply need to add a name of new while the second one will be the type of alerts which are the default types of warning danger and so on and right now we're gonna pass in a success right here if we navigate to the browser refresh it you will see a beautiful new batch right here called new which is placed next to our dashboard which is green and is basically telling us that our dashboard menu item is new now this was it for this episode where we dived into custom menus in Laravel Nova. In the next video, we're going to have a look at adding notifications into our application. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.